NCIS left us with a cliffhanger, and all of us have been on edge ever since. But hold up, what we're hearing is that there might be something dark in store for Nick Torres as we head into the 20th season. Today, we'll be digging into all that could be happening for Nick moving forward. Without further ado, let's get into it. First up, what we know about Nick so far. Even though NCIS season 19 has ended with the season's cliffhanger, with Alden Parker, Gary Cole, and his ex-wife Vivian, Terry Polo on the go right after the Raven accused him of murder, we're already looking forward to the fall. However, by now, we've learned that we've just seen the story's beginning for one special agent, our personal favorite, Nick Torres, Wilmer Valderrama, the guy who went incognito for a case involving cage fighting as he was going through a pretty dark time. But if you think that's where it ends, you've got so much more coming your way. What's more, it seems that this character's dark shift is isn't finished yet. In season 19, we witnessed some of it come to fruition, but it still seems like there's a lot more to come. Showrunner Stephen D. Binder explains to TV Insider where some gloom comes from and what may happen next. Stick with us as we uncover it all. And Nick's dark arc hasn't ended yet. As we get closer to the premiere of NCIS season 20, it's becoming more obvious that Nick Torres has been through his fair share of trauma. One would think Nick has had enough of the trouble, but it looks like the writers are still not done with him. Take a look at what's going on with him right now. Even though he hasn't been using alcohol nearly as much as he used to, he still feels isolated and alone. What is he attempting to do with this? Considering his father's problems, Gibbs' absence, and the exit of a lady in Bishop who could have been his savior, everything looks a little grim. We understand that at least on some level, Dr. Grace is a figure from whom Nick can get help to fight his demons. Unfortunately, that isn't it. He also craves more in his daily routine, has to rely on others around him, particularly those in the field with him. We anticipate witnessing at least a couple more Torres-Palmer bonding moments as we prepare for the next season, given that both have had long-term friendships. We believe that Victoria's uncle's presence may also assist in calming him even more. Maybe these relationships will help him deal with his demons. Torres and Parker may also be begin to build a closer relationship. We think that this is something we'd want to watch over and over again for ourselves. Even if their connection isn't as tight as it was between Parker and Gibbs, Parker might still serve as a mentor to him. For one thing, we believe Alden will show him how to escape the day-to-day -day bustle and not bring his work with him wherever he goes. Now, the shocking twist we're kind of scared of. When Wilmer first introduced Torres to the team, he got the impression that he was a man who could couldn't be close to anyone. But to make matters worse, Bishop and Gibbs left him when he started getting comfier. In the last several months, we've seen him struggling with alcoholism due to his recent relapse. We feel like Nick's pent-up trauma will eventually end up bursting, and that's exactly what will lead to his downfall. During the cage fighting incident, you witnessed a glimpse of his inner demons come to light. We believe that's only the beginning. This is a person that is under a lot of stress. In the end, we believe he will crash at some time since he has so much internal pressure. We're concerned about Torres, but we're sure Wilmer is having a blast. We certainly want to see more substantive material for his character shortly. We're hoping for a lot of twists and turns in this story. When showrunners were asked about the dark arc they had in mind for Nick, a lot came out. The team also tried to give us a glimpse into how it could go down. For this show, dark and traumatic arcs are no biggie. Like, come on, looking at their history, History, look at what they did with Gibbs. Leroy Jethro Gibbs is as dark a character as you can get. He very easily killed Pedro Hernandez in cold blood. The writer showed us how he was sipping whiskey from a nail-stuffed bottle in his cellar to make it even gorier. So when we say that they might go all in with Nick and his trauma, you should definitely brace yourselves for some very triggering content. In the case of Torres, we really suspect that we're gonna have some sad moments, but we're hoping that writers will do it in a manner that doesn't diminish what we value in him. This way, we're pretty sure the directors and writers will leave us wanting more. So, is there a dark arc for Nick just to give him a way out? Now that the team has finally started opening up about giving Nick a dark twist in the story, we're wondering if this is being done so that he can exit the show easily. Seems like a well thought out plan to us. What do you think? As Special Agent Torres, Wilmer Valderrama rapidly became a 
fan favorite when he started NCIS in season 14. The decision to cast Fez as an NCIS agent may have come across as a joke at the time, but he has already established himself as a series regular and an important character. But here's the shocking news. Agent Torres may have to say goodbye to Valderrama at the end of season 19. Here's why the longtime cast member's fate is sealed. Disney announced the live-action Zorro TV show on December 14th. Wilmer Valderrama has been cast as Don Diego de la Vega with his heroic alter persona, Zorro, along with that news. In the thrilling relaunch of the 1950s series, Valderrama will serve as executive producer. Yikes, the dark arc doesn't look so fun to us anymore. Hopefully, Wilmer can balance the two together. We definitely can't imagine NCIS without him. Now, in other news for the NCIS crew, brace yourselves for some mistakes by Torres. Agent Sawyer, Zane Holtz, and he got into a brawl over a visit with the club's owner after taking part in an illegal cage fight. At the same time, he's become increasingly isolated from his co-workers, Jessica Knight, Katrina Law, and Timothy McGee, Sean Murray. We think these might be the same indicators that he will follow Gibbs's lead and go beyond his NCIS responsibilities on a pending mission. When Gibbs attacked a suspect, his time as a squad member was over. Before that, he had slain Pedro Hernandez, Thomas Rosales Jr., the guy who murdered his family. Torres's inner battle might lead to a slip in judgment in the field if an impending mission becomes too emotional for him. Next, season 20 might be Casey's time to shine. We witnessed the writers playing around a little with Casey in the past season. To be honest, we loved the new shift in the storyline. However, we'll be the first to admit that our lives came crashing down a bit when Casey talked about wanting to leave the show. Fortunately, this horror didn't last for too long as she decided to stay. When asked about Casey's future in the show, the showrunners had much to say. Steve wanted her to continue because he thought she was wonderful. According to his comments in an interview, they're considering the possibility of her having a romantic partner. We'll see what happens. In the past, they'd produced Abby-centric tales regularly, if not often. A Casey tale hasn't been done in a long time. Something enjoyable, maybe involving her romance, is on the horizon, according to our speculation. As for where the plot of that particular individual leads us, we'll see. On the other hand, Steve believes that season 20 will be a season in which everyone will get an opportunity to shine, with interesting and noteworthy episodes in their own right. There's no denying that Casey is long overdue for her next appearance. Lastly, both Nick and Parker are on a pretty slippery slope. Parker's ex-wife Vivian Volchek, Terry Polo, is abducted in the season finale, which takes the team to the residence of Frank Ressler, Parker's former FBI colleague. In the aftermath of the discovery of Ressler's death, the team realizes that someone is attempting to blame Parker for the murder of Ressler. Ressler's fingernails have remnants of Parker's flesh beneath them, adding fuel to the suspicion that Parker was at the crime scene. While the search continues for Vivian, who somehow managed to escape, the evidence against Parker seems very solid. Nevertheless, her abduction and Ressler's murder are linked to the unexpected return of Raven. The team pushes Parker to continue on the flight with Vivian instead of surrendering to the FBI. Despite Parker's willingness to do so, Vivian and Raven seem to be working together in the last scene, putting Parker at risk. As a result, the whole team's futures are in jeopardy since they're lying about the location of Parker. Jimmy and Casey, meanwhile, finally begin their long-promised relationship. What will happen? We smell trouble, y'all. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think? Will we be seeing Nick? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.